Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm gonna show you how to make a very simple door opening trigger. So what that means is I have a simple seam here set up and I have a door, a pressure plate and a player and I want to make it so when the player steps on the pressure plate the door opens. On this pressure plate I do have a box collider and make sure that is trigger is enabled so we can trigger the pressure plate with our player. So first thing we want to create is a new C sharp script which will be called the door trigger. Let's open that up. The function that we're going to be using is called void on trigger enter. And I've already talked about this function in my previous video so you can go check that out if you're interested. So basically what this function takes in is a collider which is the collider that we're colliding with. So in this case that will be the player. We're not going to be using this in this video. So basically this function will be triggered once the collider of our player collides with the pressure plate collider. Once the player collides with the pressure plate we want to access the doors transform right here and change the position on the y axis. So let's create a variable for our door which will be a game object door. You can either set this to be public but I'd rather set it to serialize field which makes it visible in the inspector but the variable is still private. Simply once we collide we just want to go door dot transform dot position plus equals to a vector 3 so we need to add a vector 3 to it. I think creating a whole new vector 3 va variable like this is not needed and um, we're not going to be doing that. We're going to go for something much simpler. We're just going to create a new vector 3 when we're adding it to the door's position. So we'll just go new vector 3 and then we'll just set its, um, its value here. Value here. So we don't want to move it on the x-axis so set that to 0. We want to move it on the y-axis. We'll set that to 4 and we don't want to move it on the z-axis so just set that to 0 and just close it off. So what this does is once we trigger the pressure plate the position is going to get added so it's basically going to do this. It's going to take our new vector 3 which is 0, 4 and 0 and it's going to add it to this position. So 0, it will basically do this. 0 plus 0, okay. Then it will get this plus 4 because y is 4. And then it will take this and also say plus 0 because that is 0. Hopefully that makes sense and now let's just go into our inspector and add the door trigger to our pressure plate. And now we have to assign the door variable. Just drag it over. This is what it means to serialize field. So it shows it here but it's the variable is still, still private. If we click play and player collides with it, you can see the door opens. But we still have a little problem here. If we do it multiple times, it will every time it will move it up. So we can stop that by creating a boolean which we'll call is opened. A boolean is a simple variable that it's, that it's either true or false and by default it'll be false because the door is not open by default. Once we trigger the pressure plate we want to check if is opened equals to false. If it's false then we'll do this. So by default the door is not opened, so we'll check if it's not opened. You can do this in multiple ways. You can do it like this. You can do it like this if it's not true. Or you can, the simplest way is just to do this. So if it's false, then we open the door. And we also, once we open it, we want to check is opened equals to true. And now we can't open it anymore. Let's see if that works. So just go and click play. If we trigger it, it opens and we cannot trigger it anymore. So that's it for this video. If this helped you, be sure to leave a like, comment down below if you have any other suggestions or if you need help with something and I'll be glad to help. Also follow me on my social media, there's links to that in the description and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye.